Hello, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm coming to you from Building 87 at the Marriott Grand Vista. This place is fabulous. This video would be mostly for people that have never been here before, but even if you've been here before and been here even more times than I have, you can still sit back and enjoy the tour. This is super early in the morning and I'm gonna take you around to the lovely pools. So sit back and enjoy the tour. Marriott Grand Vista is like its own little island. It's awesome. You're going to um, be coming in from International Drive, and you're going to go down this long way here. This is going to be where you're going to find the gate over here where there's going to be someone where you're going to tell them you're going to be checking in. And you'll be checking in over here. Today, I'm going to be showing you all the pools. Like I said earlier, we're going to be going to Plaza del Sol Pool first, which is by the Coca Bar right here in West Village. So if you're staying in here, this would be the pool that would be the most accessible to you. This pool has been closed for the month of September and has just recently opened. I was excited to go and see like all this big remodeling, but I was also excited to see that they really didn't change anything because I loved the way it was. It was perfect. I was sad to think that they were changing it, but I guess they probably had some structural things that they had to change. I'm not really certain. This pool is fabulous if you want you know, a place to sit. <laughs> Over there where I'm pointing now would be the other big pool across the lake, which is called Village Center Pool, which we'll be going to next. This is super early in the morning. There is nobody there, but as I was trying to say before, there's tons and tons of seating here. So if it is a busy day, you're probably more likely to find seating here than some of the smaller pools. The buildings closest to this gate would be building 77, 78, 79, 84, 85, and 86. The two buildings that surround the pool would be 79 and 84. This pool here in West Village has the biggest splash pad area if you have little children and they like this kind of thing. <laughs> the other pool though, however, has a closed in kiddie pool. So if your kid's a runner, that one might be a better thing. <laughs> this one's all open and it goes right into the big pool. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you the activity schedule they gave me at check-in. And I'm also gonna be taking a cruise around. I didn't have a lot of time. I'm hoping to make a better video about what's around there like store wise i went like within a mile radius and i videotaped the stores that are around so if you're kind of wondering when i check in what what is there to do that's close proximity to the marriott grand Vista, we're going to look at that too as you can see this pool has a ton of atmosphere it's beautiful it's very great for photographing it has two pools the splash pad and two hot tubs this is also where you will find the Copa Pool Bar and Grill. They have burgers and chicken sandwiches and all that kind of good stuff. This place is beautiful, though. I highly recommend going, getting up early. I know it stinks. You're on vacation. But to be there in the morning and to have the entire pool to yourself, priceless. It's amazing. Opens at 7 a.m. Get out there as early as you can. Now we're going to go check out the hot tubs. There's two of them. They're identical in size. They're not the grandest and the biggest of all the hot tubs at Marriott Grand Vista. They're like, you know, a little smaller. They're fine and they're open. <laughs> I've been traveling since the start of all this COVID and I've seen things open and close, open and close. Everything's open now. I just personally think the hot tubs at Golf and Club Village are nicer. Um, and I'll be showing you those in a little bit. So stay tuned. Okay, I think we saw all of Plaza del Sol pool. I'm gonna show you now the menu uh, for the Copa Bar. This pool is like really cool. It's got great atmosphere. 
I've stayed probably about 20 weeks at the Marriott Grand Vista and I've never ate here. <laughs> Shameful. I'm so bad. <laughs> but I hear the food's great. I took a peek upstairs. Um, I always loved to come up here. They used to have couches and I'd come up here and have coffee and I'd even bring my laptop and work. But they seem to get rid of all the, gotten rid of all the furniture up here. I'm not really sure why. I'm not really sure, but it used to be a fantastic place to come. <laughs> they do have a pool table though truck up here just to even get a selfie. <laughs> I didn't do it on this trip, but I've done it before. So that would be the pool if you were staying in West Village. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. It's just magical over there, but it's a little disconnected from the rest of the resort. To go to the rest of the resort, you would need to take this bridge by foot, or you could drive. It's very walkable and an enjoyable walk. It's just not very convenient if you're in a hurry all the time by far one of my favorite places to walk in all of Grand Vista. The next pool I'll be showing you is the Village Center Pool, which is right in back of where you're gonna be checking in. This is where they have tons and tons of activities. They have aqua aerobics in the morning, movies at night. So if you're interested in that kind of thing where you're very active in the activities, um, they have bingo and Jeopardy and I saw them playing Family Feud. It was super cute. So anyway, if you want to stay where all the action is, you probably want to stay around this area right over here. I hope you're finding this video useful in some way. If you are, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and like this video, that would rock. That would really help out my channel a lot. I make these videos because I'm away most of my life and I have the extra time and I always look for uh, you know, information before I go anywhere. So I try to make videos of things that I would want to see and things that I'm looking for. So I hope it's helpful. <laughs> All right, we're at Village Center Pool now. This may be my favorite. Bear in mind, it went in busy times. It's noisy, very loud. They blare the TV. There's Sunday night football. There's it, but you know, it's it's a really fun, fun pool. There's always so much going on over here. Not this morning, but during the day, it does get really hopping. Later in the video, I will be showing you what the pool looks like later in the day. Village Center Pool, like I said before, has all the activities. You're going to find the marketplace there where you could get pizzas, sandwiches, ice cream. The check-in is very close by. There's plenty of places to sit. Over here, they have a bar, obviously closed, <laughs> but they serve lunch, dinner, snacks over there, full bar. We have towel kiosks over here. Um, there is no towels in the room. You go with your card. So you have to bring your room key, which you typically have to do anyway <laughs> to get back in your room and use your room key to get the towels. We're taking you by over here. This right here is a little courtyard. Um, during different times of the year, like I've been here for Christmas and they had a little Christmas party out here with a big Christmas tree. It's just lovely. Marriott GV also has something called the grill, which is in the clubhouse where they have the golfing. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I believe, at the moment. It's finally open again. It was closed for the longest time. It has indoor and outdoor seating. It's really nice. I've been there before. It has a splash pad here, not as grand as the other place. So the Plaza del Sol pool has a bigger splash pad. But look at this kiddie pool. Like it's, it's a very good size for a child's pool and there's seating around there and you don't have to worry about the runners. If you have a kid that runs, it's all gated. It's awesome. I, you know, 20 years ago when I used to come here with my two girls and at my two nephews, they were like, all a year apart and we were like up running constantly trying to <laughs> catch them and bring them back to the pool this pool with the gate gave us such peace of mind this pool not so much <laughs> this would be the lap pool which is more of the relaxing pool in this area you find people here that are reading books and that sort of thing there's two club shaped hot tubs in this area just like the other pool that I just showed you, no massive hot tubs, but it's beautiful. Look at the beautiful landscaping on this whole property. Building numbers in Village Center would be 80 and 81 would be the closest to the pools, but bear in mind, they're going to be very noisy. Um, we also have 82, 83, 94, and 95. Next, I took a walk down to Club Village Pool. 
which is right over here. It's a smaller pool. It's more intimate, has one of the best hot tubs in my opinion. I love um, this pool, like when I just really just want a quiet experience. It's a little far out of the way, you know, if you want to pool hop to all the other ones. But if you're a golfer, this one's awesome because the, the golf village is over here, like where you get your golf carts and that sort of thing. And all this here is golfing. So if you want a golf course view, which is really nice and quiet, except for the lawnmowers in the morning, <laughs> but this is a very cool area. Stayed there many times. The last place we'll be going over here is to Golf Village. This pool is awesome too, smaller, but like if you get into these two buildings, it's a beautiful view. It has a view of the lake and the pool itself is smaller, but again, it has a really pretty hot tub really nice. So anyway, um, I just hope this is helpful if you're trying to find what area would be best for you and your family. Okay, you guys ready to see more? We're on our way now from Village Center Pool to the Club Village. This is going to be, you know, when you first pull in, it's going to be on the right hand side. It's like this little extra wing, very private. It's on the golf course. There's sidewalks to walk on. It's not a horrific walk. It's really not that bad. It's very, very beautiful. One of my favorite pools, like if you're looking for somewhere quieter, for sure, has one of the nicest hot tubs. Buildings in Club Village would be 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100, with 96, 97, and 98 being the ones that surround the pool. But just bear in mind, you know, you might get one of those units, but get a golf view. You're not guaranteed to get, you know, a pool view, but those would be the ones right here that are the closest one. This one we're looking at right here would be 97. There are no cabanas anywhere at the Marriott Grand Vista, but they do have these little sofas at two of the pools that it's a first come first serve. They have bathrooms like all the other pools in the towel kiosk and they also have brand new chairs. Either that or they've been reupholstered. I don't know, it's the same style but they used to be bright orange. <laughs> now they're like a sand color. All right guys, we're off again. I hope I'm not tiring you out. We're leaving the Club Village pool now. Um, over here on the right hand side at the time of um, this taping, <laughs> which was the beginning of October, they were doing construction over there on 94 and 95 or one of them. I think it was 94. All right, now we're entering the pool. This is a little bit of a walk from where we were, maybe about a 10 minute walk from the last pool we were at. This pool has no kitty kid facilities. It's just an adult pool, which, you know, obviously kids could come in, but there's no walk in. It's all like, you know, you know, three to five feet. Building numbers in Golf Village are 87, which I was staying at, really nice place. 88, 89, 90. 91 and 92 would be the ones that you'd want to request if you want a pool view. Okay, now I'm going to take you out for a little walk. This was taken about 6, 7 o'clock at night. They had music over by the beach. It was really nice. I'm just going to show you what it's like just, you know, at a typical time. It wasn't nearly as busy as it can be. <laughs> but there was people out there doing some s'mores. They had a music person out there singing. It was like an acoustic um, show. It was really nice. Sometimes the sunsets over here are amazing, like stunning. Okay, now I'm going to take a walk over to one of my places <laughs> to chill out and sit when I'm at Village Center Pool. And stick around. Right now I'm going to show you the activity list that they gave me at check-in. And after that, I'm going to take you guys for a little cruise around within a mile of the place. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of time to st you know, get out and videotape each individual store, but you're going to go kind of go by. We're going to kind of cruise by and you'll get to see what's around there within about a mile. Bear in mind, there's still a lot other places, but these are the ones that are closest to the Grand Vista. And these are the activities right here, lots to do. They keep you really busy. This would be one of the two publics that would be closest. There's also one in Vineland. This is the one in Williamsburg. A whole shopping center there's a mcdonald's there's a wendy's very close by and a dollar tree i always hit up the dollar tree before i do anything
here is where you'll find McDonald's and there's also a gas station right next door to it. There's a light here too for easy in and out. After passing the Dollar Tree, you're going to get into two left-hand lanes to go back to the Marriott Grand Vista. Over on the right-hand side, that's where you're going to find SeaWorld and CVS Pharmacy. There's a lot of stuff that's really close. Here's another shopping center we're going to breeze through. There's a lot of food options. There's Applebee's, ice cream, pizza. There's also an IHOP close by, Denny's. We're going down now past the Marriott Grand Vista and I'm gonna show you stuff that's on the opposite side of the Marriott Grand Vista. This is Grand Vista here on the left. Avenida Vista, I think it's called. <laughs> All right, here's the other shopping center that I promised you. I don't know why I do this. I just love to help people. Anybody been to this chocolate museum before? <laughs> I'm dying to go. It's on my bucket list. I can never just seem to get there. This Golden Corral coming up, I believe is still closed, but I did have seen some of them reopen back in Orlando. I'm not sure if it's buffet yet or how they're doing it, but I did see some that were open. So now we're heading back to the Marriott Grand Vista. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and found it helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear that this, this is helping. And if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. I have tons of Marriott Grand Vista videos as well as Cypress Harbor, Lakeshore Reserve, um, all, a lot of Vistana. I'm in Orlando all the time and I stay everywhere. Grand Vista just happens to like, own a big piece of my heart. I just love it, love it there so much. And I love to see other people love it too and I just love to share my experience. So thank you so much for taking the tour with me. I'm gonna be leaving my playlist over here. I'll leave the Marriott uh, Grand Vista playlist also, as well as my Orlando stays, all the places I've stayed in Orlando. I'll also drop here a video I took last year of where all the buildings are located at the Marriott Grand Vista. Very informative if you're wondering where to stay. Okay, we're back. Welcome back home. <laughs> Such a happy sight seeing this gate here. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Safe travels to you.